Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So we're actually in a different location. Right now we are at Seneca Rocks, which you can see right there. And we're on a little hiking camping trip for the next two days because I have a four day weekend from school and clinical and work and everything. So we decided to get away. Beamer's here as well, so you can probably hear him barking behind the camera because he wants to be in the video too, which he will be in just a little bit, so don't worry. He hates that we do anything without him. We're waiting for the rain to clear up. It's been raining for like an hour since we got here and we're supposed to hike up to the top of the rocks to an overlook, but it's a really steep hike. It's not that long. It's just really steep and we wanted the rain to clear up a little bit first. So hopefully that happens and we can head up there. In the meantime, we'll show you guys around a little. It's pretty down here as well. All right guys, the weather's looking promising. We've been wandering around underneath the rocks for a little while, so we decided we're gonna start the trail. And Beamer's already out of breath because he's been swimming and eating grass and doing all sorts of stuff, but it's looking good. Hopefully we get a good sunset at the top. Okay, we're about halfway up the trail right now. The weather's holding off. It's actually cleared up quite a bit, but if you can hear them out of breath, it's a really steep trail. I didn't realize how far up 800 was, and I guess it's like very straight up. So it's kind of like switchback. So we're going up and then walking flat for a second, then going up again, and I'm really out of breath. But I just saw some kids come down, like little kids. So I figure if they can do it, we can do it. And John and Beamer are like 10 feet in front of me. But we're almost there. I'll show you the view when we get to the top. We made it to the top just in time for sunset. It is so beautiful up here. It's a little cold, so I put my hoodie on, but it's so beautiful. Beamer loves it. We're having a great time. All right, guys, we've been up here running around on the rocks for a while. Beamer's been having an adventure. He thinks he's a mountain goat, and now we're watching the sunset. It's been really fun, and we made a new friend, John, over here. What's up, man? What up? You What's can happening? What you're doing tonight. I am camping out on the Seneca Rock Ridge. We just watched the coolest sunset. Having a good time. Uh, I think it's gonna be really nice to wake up out here and uh, kind of just wake up to all of this. You know, look at all that. It's... Tell them how you're camping. Uh, in a hammock. That's all you really need, you know? You could end up in the coolest places on earth and all you need is a hammock and maybe a blanket. Or I a think that should bag. be a quote. You can end up in the coolest place on earth and all <laughs> yeah, you need is a hammock. For sure. That's very true. I wish we were camping up here too, but I don't think Beamer would have it. What do you think, Beamer? <laughs> nope. <laughs> anyway, John's inspired us because he's on a journey traveling and spreading kindness and positivity around. So we're really glad to have met him and yeah, we're having a really great time. We're going to head down soon because it's going to get dark and we are not camping up here, but we'll catch up with you guys at the car so you can see our little setup for sleeping tonight. All right, so we got off of the uh, rocks a little bit late. I promised Rihanna we would be back before it got dark. Sorry, babe. Yeah, it's dark. And I smell cucumbers, and I read on the internet if you smell cucumbers, oh, copperheads are all around you. What? And, yeah. What kind of random fact is that? I don't know. I read it on the internet, and now I'm scared. If you smell cucumbers, there's snakes all around you. Copperheads. You need to get drug tested. Well, anyway, we probably still have a half a mile left to go. Can't really see anything. Beamer's already made us carry him because he can't see well in the dark because he's getting too old. Yeah, this is great. Um, we can't really see anything, so John's using our light to film a video. Hey, <laughs> content's content. I'm going to walk right into a tree. <laughs> oh, spider web. Just don't walk off the edge. All right, we'll catch up with you guys when we get back to the car and eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And lentils. Oh, yeah. She hates me. Beamer's hungry. I'm hungry. You hungry? Yeah, I guess. 
Oh, what's that? What's that light up there? What is that? Oh, I thought those were eyes. Yeah, it looks like eyes. I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> I thought you were going to die and I was going to run back the other way and save myself. Thank you. All right. Oh, we're... I remember that bench. What is that? Do you remember that bench? We're on a marked trail. You're acting like we're lost in the woods. <laughs> So what are we having besides peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Lentil stew. Lentil stew. Oh, uh, is that the stuff you said you're just gonna get me straight out of the can? Yeah, it's oh. Amy's organic. I'd rather starve. It's Amy's organic lentil stew. Beamer can have mine. He would. I have fruit sacks. Thought you said there was a subway around here. Oh yeah, we should go subway. As vegans at Subway, we're allowed to get bread, a couple tomatoes, a few cucumbers. And call it a sandwich. <laughs> we get all vegetable sandwich with sweet onion sauce. Don't try to make it sound any better than it isn't. <laughs> Beamer made John pick him up. He gave up again. He's scared of the dark and it's so sad. I got him. Good morning, everybody. So I couldn't show you our setup last night because it was dark and our flashlight died. And yeah, that's why I didn't show you the inside of our car. But right now I'll show you because we just woke up in a cool little spot. And it actually was a pretty eventful night because our air mattress um, deflated in the middle of the night. So we slept on the hard back of the car. <laughs> but other than that, it was pretty good. Beamer didn't mind. And yeah, let me show you around. Okay, so when we're getting ready to go to bed for the night, we put all of our stuff in the front seat of the car. And then we set up the back like a little bed here. And that's about it. It's pretty easy. We had a air mattress that we got from Walmart because we wanted to try car camping with an air mattress for once. And it worked for a little while, but then it completely deflated in the middle of the night. And that's the story of that. I don't know why you show people this. They're going to think we're absolutely nuts. Yeah, actually, I think a tent would be more comfortable, but the car is more convenient because we can just park it wherever we want. A bed of nails would be more comfortable. <laughs> this is why <laughs> This is why we need a camper van, so comment below and tell John that we need a camper van. But the most important thing is we save money. Yeah, we saved so thing. much money. All right, I think we're going to head to Dolly Sods, which is another park today. Um, we're just going to like look around a little bit more here and then head over there. It's about 50 minutes away and it's supposed to be really pretty. It's completely overcast, so there was no sunrise this morning, so we just kind of slept in a little. And it's pretty nice weather, and we're just going to enjoy our day. There's a hiker walking by right now who thinks we're absolutely nuts. <laughs> We made it to Dolly Sods. It's really beautiful. We're at the first overlook. It was a little hike to a cool overlook. Beamer actually stayed in the car because he's still really tired and his legs kind of sore. He has a little bit of issues with his back leg when he hikes too much. And it's only 65 degrees, so he's in the car taking a nap, but we'll take him on the next hike. And I'm gonna show you guys this overlook because it's so pretty and the overcast is perfect. Everything looks a little misty. And I just love nature and I'm so glad we're here and I wanna stay forever. to Bear Rocks Overlook, which is actually a little hike and it's rock scrambling is what the hikers we just passed by called it. So you climb over a bunch of rocks to get to the overlook and it's really pretty. It was only about half a mile walk over here or scramble, but it's so nice out still. We're having a great time. Beamer recharged. He ate some food, drank some water and stopped limping because he wanted to hike. So he's fine now. It's a little windy, so if you can't hear me, that's why. But we don't really know what we're gonna do the rest of the day yet. This is the main thing we wanted to do here, and there's some waterfalls called Black Waterfalls somewhere near here, so we might try and go find that. But otherwise, our itinerary is open. Black 
Falls right now, as you can hear and see behind me, and it is so beautiful. Um, I don't know anything about these falls to tell you, so I'll let John give you a tour. All right, as you can see behind me, this is Blackwater Falls. This was invented in 1912 by George Columbus before he sailed the ocean blue. It's the only waterfall like it. It has a 270 foot drop. I know it only looks like 50, but it's an optical illusion. It's the only one like it in the world. You can find this in the Wikipedia or in your encyclopedia or whatever. Research it, find the map, come down and visit it. Make sure you throw a penny in and wish it well. All right, we are all done at Blackwater Falls and Beaver's taking a nap in the back. We're actually gonna head home now because we're about three hours away from home and we saw everything we wanted to see. We planned on spending two nights, but we've actually seen everything already. And now the weather's getting really rainy and there's a big chance of rain tomorrow. So we figured we'll just head home. And also our air mattress plan didn't really work out. We don't really want to do that again because it's really uncomfortable. We did not bring a tent, which we should have because that would have just fixed our whole plan because we could have just slept in the tent. But it's okay because we did everything we wanted. So I don't know what we're gonna do the rest of the day. We probably won't be home till eight or nine at night, but maybe just get some work done. John has to check on a house and probably just call it a wrap. We're both kind of tired because we didn't really sleep last night either. And John did some star photography, so that also kept us up. But all in all, it was a great trip. We really enjoyed seeing the northern part of West Virginia and recommended if you're ever in the area or passing through that you check out the places we checked out. It was definitely nice to get away for a couple of days and unwind. I think we both needed it. Yeah. But uh, I highly recommend this area as well. So it was Dolly Sides, Black Waterfalls, yes. and Seneca Rocks. Yes. Uh, my favorite was Seneca Rocks. Mine too. If you can only do one thing, I recommend you do Seneca Rocks because that was definitely the coolest experience. It was about a three mile hike up, two and a half mm -hmm. mile hike up, but the view was definitely worth it. It was so worth it. And if you're scared of heights, it's a great place to get over your fear. So I guess that's it. If you're bored, go subscribe to John Scholler. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up the vlog now because I don't think you want to watch this drive home for three hours and try and um, stay awake. But thank you for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little bit of a different vlog than usual. I'll be doing some more travel vlogs in the future as I get more time off and get finished up with school. But next week, I'll see you on the regular vlog schedule, and I hope you guys have a great week. Toodaloo.